Carolina? Here. Mr. Daltrey? Here. Mr. Crow? Here. Dr. Mudrak? Here. Mr. Morella? Here. Mr. O'Brien? Here. Mr. Palmer? Here. Mr. Rappaport? Here. Ms. Zuckerman? Here. The New Jersey Open Public Meeting Law was enacted to ensure the right of the public to have advance notice of and to attend meetings of public bodies at which any business affecting their interests is discussed or acted upon. In accordance with the provisions of the Act, the Montville Township Board of Education provided a public notice of this meeting, which included the time, date, and location that was posted at the Montville Township Municipal Building, all Montville Township Public Schools, the Montville Public Library, the Montville Board of Education Administrative Office Building, the district website, and advertised in the daily record, the board's official newspaper, on January 11, 2019. Uh, um, we were very excited to welcome all of our faculty and staff back today. For the first day, we had our new teacher orientation last Monday and Tuesday. We welcomed 34 new teachers. We're very excited to have them. They will be wonderful additions to the staff. And we are looking forward to welcoming our students back on Thursday. We are uh, ready to go. Um, and slump is going to be on the program. But we're very excited to be here. Thank you. Mrs. Slump? The largest part of my report relates to where we stand on the referendum. So we have been going all summer working on Valley View, Hilldale, and Woodmont, doing renovations on their bathrooms, their gyms, and their media centers, all in accordance with the referendum. Um, the first one we're going to look at, we're just going to go through each building so that you can see what kind of changes have been made as these renovations have progressed. So this is what the gym looked like at Hilldale when we first began. And this is the gym now. What you'll notice is the, a lot of painting in terms of both the gray color and, and then on the cabinets, the checkerboard pattern that now matches the same color as the mats. And the floor, which is the same floor that we had put in at William Mason and at Cedar Hill with the very big Hilldale mascot. In the case of the bathrooms, this is what we had started with, and that is the boys' bathroom, completely finished, which you'll notice is one of the big changes for us from a cleaning point of view, is changing over from the small one-by-one uh, -one tiles that had been originally there to the epoxy floors, which you'll notice in all of the renovations. And there is the ladies' room. So green for the boys and kind of gray for the girls. And then the change in the media center. So that is the media center when we started. This is where we are right now. Now, if you remember with the media center, we were held up because of permitting. And the issue was, if you look behind the man who's standing there, you see that metal structure that's behind him? That is what held us up. What those are going to be is that's going to be glass. Uh, part, part way up, it's going to be drywall, and then above it, it's going to be glass. And so those are getting installed. Those were being installed this morning, and then they're going to be drywalled up to where the glass is. The glazing for the glass is coming in next week. So what will happen is for Thursday, they will have cleaned out the entire space. They will not yet have furniture because we want to get the glazing in, and then the furniture will come next week. So as we've been saying throughout the summer, this is the one spot that really won't be ready for the start of school. We'll be running about a week behind. The next place that we have been doing work is Valley View. And this is the media center at Valley View when we originally started. And this is the media center now. So what they did was they went with gray carpeting throughout and then they replaced all of the desks and tables. They did the railings on the ramp 
so that it's all the same colored wood. And as you can see in the back, they're beginning to fill the books back in. Their books are all piled up, being unloaded, so that they'll all be in the bookshelves by the time Thursday comes. And that's the, the uh, reference desk right there. The next change at Valley View is in the bathrooms. And Valley View's colors are blue. And so what you see in the bathrooms is that all the bathrooms, both boys and girls, have that blue color with the epoxy floor carrying that same spec. And the dramatic change is in the gym. If you recall, Valley View had insets where the lunch tables used to be, and we had indicated that one of the things we would be doing is we'd be filling them in. This was an earlier picture, the bottom picture, left side, that darker box is actually the outside brick wall of Valley View as they filled it in with drywall. And this is what the gym looks like now. Um, in all cases, you can kind of see it well in the Valley View pictures. You see the ridge box uh, that's above the blue line? Each of the schools have those. Those are the acoustical panels. You have done a change order to have acoustical panels put in at all of the elementary schools in Lazar Gym due to the noise level. We, the noise level changed a lot from pre-renovation to post because we eliminated the drop ceilings. So we created a big void space where sound would really be re reverberating. The acoustical panels will help with that, and you can see them really clearly in the Valley View picture. Now, one of the things we did find after we did this work, what you'll notice on that gray wall is you see like a lot of indentations and bumps. No matter how much they tried to fan out the drywall going into the cement, it just didn't it didn't fan well. That is going to be an issue not only because it doesn't look great, but it's also going to be an issue because if you throw a ball really hard at that drywall, it's going to make a dent. We decided to see numbers, and that will be coming as a change order for the next meeting, to put up a wall uh, mats, similar to what you saw at Hilldale and Lazar has them, uh, in order to cover that not only for protection of the kids, but for protection of the walls. And then the last school that had major renovations was Woodmont. And this is what the media center looked like when we started. And that is the media center today. They put up wallpaper, which is a very pretty dark blue wallpaper with a little green in it. And the floors are done. The furniture is coming tomorrow. So that room will be completely furnished and ready to go for tomorrow, or for Thursday. This is the gym when we first started, and this is the gym. They happened to be doing stenciling this morning, so you can see how they actually put those logos down on the floors. There are stencils that they come in and paint. That's gonna be a paw print, because they're the cougars, and so the paw print is gonna go on the gym floor, and they actually paint to apply those on there. And then the bathrooms. The bathrooms at Woodmont, you had agreed to a change order in order to get those decals back on. But those decals were originally painted directly on the cinder block. What we did is we took pictures of them and they are actually mounted on a piece of plastic and the plastic is then mounted on the wall. So the girls' bathroom is like a beach theme and the boys' bathroom is like a superhero theme. And then in terms of other projects, the big project that occurred was the project that was occurring at the high school in which we were doing the air conditioning of the 5 and 600 wing. The 5 and the 600 wing was the last large area that in the high school that was not air conditioned. So this is sort of pictures of them in, in process throughout the summer. And there is a picture of a final room. I actually walked the halls in the high school. The air conditioning coming out of 3 and 400, which is what you did last year, but out of the classrooms was so significant that as I walked through the halls, I could feel the air conditioning in the hallways as it was exiting the rooms into the hallways. They were working on getting the air conditioner turn, air conditioning turned on in five and six hundred today. So I expect that when I go back tomorrow, I'll see a similar type of event where the hallways are actually cooled as a result of the amount of air coming out of the rooms. We also are going to do with the gym windows at the high school. We are moving forward, uh, having selected the glass, and so that project will move forward as we had talked about as the school year goes on. 
So in terms of next steps, for Hilldale, Valley View, and for Woodmont, what we will be doing is getting the windows and the furniture into the media center at Hilldale. We'll be doing the wall pads of the gymnasium at Valley View, and then substantial completion and punch lists for the bathrooms, media centers, and gymnasiums in all three of those buildings. The other big project that we worked on this summer was to get air conditioning to all academic spaces. All academic spaces now have air conditioners, whether they are through the units in the, the Unipen units or through the ductless splits. What we are doing right now is we are tying those individual units into the building management system so they can be controlled for each building through the building management systems. So as we begin to tie those all in, then they will be able to control them. There are a pocket of air conditioners at Lazar that have been installed. We're waiting for our electricians that we hired, outside electricians, to actually hook them up. We're hoping that will be accomplished before Thursday. That'll leave about 10 air conditioners district-wide that still need to be tied into the electrical system and then into the building management system. We will begin to start the ESIP project now. And that is for the LED light replacement district-wide. That will be going through on throughout the year. And then, as we mentioned, we'll be doing the main gym's windows in order to replace the existing windows. And then planning begins for summer 2020 for phase two and three of the referendum projects, as well as the phase two of the ESIP project, which will include the solar panels. Any questions? Thank you very much. Any questions? Uh, two questions. On the uh, air conditioning tying into the central system, will they still be able to be controlled from the rooms, or is that those who teach it, or is it hot that the teacher has to call down and, and say, hey, I need more air conditioning? Well, to a degree. They can go two degrees above or below the set point. So if the set point is 70 degrees, they can go to 68 and 72. Anything more than that? They need to bring a code. And the other question is, at Valley View. There's a thermostat in the room. There is a thermostat in the room that will keep the temperature automatically adjusting within that range. Okay. And then the other question is, at Valley View, uh, did you guys happen to uh, put some boards or something to fix those chairs? Okay, the chairs, no, we did not. What we ended up doing was we put the floor in and we told them we wanted them to test run pulling those. Uh, so let me back up. Valley View is one, of, one, is one of the few elementary schools which has a stage. And so because of having a stage, there is storage space underneath the stage. And the district made the decision to store the chairs, folding chairs, in these rolling uh, carousels that pull out as drawers. And when we put the new floor down and looked to see how we would maneuver those drawers, what we found was this is going to destroy the floor. It ripped the entire section we tried it on out and we replaced it. So if you actually drive up to Valley View right now, you'll see the drawers sitting out on the lawn because what we will be doing is relocating those chairs to another storage facility and there will be boards put up where the old drawers used to be on the stage and there'll be nothing underneath there anymore. What are some of the items for phase two and three? We are going, there are still some restrooms. There are still roofs that, uh, there's one or two bathrooms that still need to be done that were not part of the first two phases, whether it's phase one or phase three or two. So they're going to be two or three, depending on what phase you're on in the building. Um, and so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking up all of those loose ones that are still part of the referendum plan, but weren't part of the original work that we did in each of the two places, whether it was last summer or this summer. Thank you very much, Katina. Thank you, administration, for your hard work on these projects. It looks easy when you look at the slide, but there's a lot of work involved. And we were very fortunate again going out early as the recommendation of the administration. There's a lot of school systems that are nowhere near completion. We blame school, holding areas. But I think we're very fortunate. Uh, do we have
now we committed reports. I don't think any of you have met since the last uh, 22 years ago. Any delegates? Um, yeah, thank you, Charlie. Um, I just wanted to pass along uh, to Mike as um, the liaison a couple of dates for the Morris County School Board Association meeting. So um, I have September 19th, and I'll, I'll double check that date. Um, Okay. That's the one here. Okay. We have December 12th, January 16th, March 5th, and May 14th. And uh, we're uh, looking for a volunteer to be the latest on the hill to help since we promoted the motor back to the middle school. So Mike, that will be you without a school if you would like to be players on the Hillvale. Give us some thought, let me know. And uh, we will have to make a decision now. Okay? I'd like to keep one for the building. We did have another volunteer for two, but I got it from nine months to 50 and a couple of seven dollars. Okay? Uh, once the home school remains gets the dates, Maybe the latest ones to pick up the home school meetings and have them. I believe Woodmont is the 25th. I'm sorry? I believe Woodmont is the 25th. <coughs> okay, good thing now. Uh, public participation is an opportunity to have anyone ask questions on the agenda. If there's none, I would like to the motion to move the agenda, please. So moved. Second? Second. Mr. Morello? Yes. Mr. Rappaport? Yes. Dr. Cordellino? Uh, yes, the stain on M110. Mr. Daltrey? Yes. Dr. Mondrak? Yes. Mr. O'Brien? Aye. Ms. Upperman? Yes, the stain on O. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Brown?